Hey everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we are looking at the Geezer Butler Wah pedal. So Geezer Butler, Black Sabbath, of course, bass player for Black Sabbath. And, uh, and they have, okay, maybe figured out that he was the first bass player to use wah in recording. So let's make him a wah pedal. Let's do it. Um, so Dunlop has this amazing wah. That's pretty cool because what it does is it takes the, uh, these mid frequencies and boosts them as you uh, activate the wah pedal. So it is off right now, it's down, it's not doing anything. And then as you grind into it, it, not, it takes, your, takes your original signal and sort of loses that and goes into a harsher, more mid signal. signal. So now you've got these mids peaking, which you can use you know, on its own. It's a wah. So you can get really musical with it and you can push certain aspects. So if you're going up top, you can push, uh, you know, you can push out a little bit on the higher stuff or lower. Or you can just have some fun. A lot of things you can do with it. I'm going to pick it up now and I'm going to show you some of the, um, some of the maybe hidden features on this and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, so here we are. Um, it's kind of hard to see with my foot, my size 10 on this thing. So here it is, the geezer. So um, what it does, is it returns to zero every time too, which is really nice, which gets you back to your original bass tone. So we have the signature geezer logo. I'm gonna whip this right here so you can see what the audience is gonna see. This is a belt drive inside, uh, well lubricated, lasts you for years of wild pleasure. And here's the back. Another Geezer logo, they like that. Uh, nine volt also has, well, there's the, there's the in. There's the out, if you can power it on your pedal board as well. And this is pretty easy to get to. Now inside the back panel, which we're gonna crack off here in a second, is the Q control, of which you can control the release, you can control different EQ frequencies. So uh, right now, this is set to Geezer's exact standards. When you go uh, see his pedal board, maybe they'll do a rig rundown at some point, or maybe they did, I don't remember, but, um, you can crack this thing open on his board and it's gonna be the exact specs as what I just played. And of course you can change this to your taste. So now we are on the inside of the Geezer Butler Crybaby. Wah! All right, so four screws, Philip said very easy. As you can see, there's the nine volts, but here's the Q control. Now, if you wanna adjust these things, you know, you can do this sort of with it plugged in. You're not gonna really hurt yourself. It's nine volt, it's not a big deal, but you can adjust this Q control accordingly to taste straight up is where it came factory spec uh, if you go clockwise then it's going to narrow your frequency range if you go counterclockwise it's going to create a wider frequency range at the top end of it uh, creating a more subtle wah effect so make sure you go down to your local store check one of these out for yourself um, or you know read our written review just go ahead and do that just go read it and then buy it no don't do that Put it in your hands. That's what that's what you're supposed to be doing with all this stuff. So go down to your local store, check one of these out for yourself. And, uh, and while you're online, you know, perusing CNN or BBC or Fox, whatever you do, then uh, also subscribe to our YouTube channel because there are heaps, heaps, mounding heaps of great videos to watch. Um, for Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com, this is Steve Cook, and I'll see you real soon. Thanks. <laughs>
Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.